I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. You know, recently I did a video with the Umarex NXG because a young man had gotten in touch with me and he was wanting me to shoot it from the bench with BBs. And uh, he said that he'd asked, he'd seen my other videos and he'd seen that gun and he asked his mom to get him one for his birthday present, which she did. So we did that, but he also had some other questions, which I found quite interesting. He wanted a 22 firearm, and he wanted a Henry. Well, of course, the one that draws everybody's attention is the Golden Boy, and that's what he wanted. And I'm going to, I mean, the Golden Boy is a very, very good gun. I, I like it. I have two of them. I have the Youth, which I call a carbine because it has the lever... Uh, that is a loop lever rather than the regular lever like this and it also has a Skinner peep sight but you know save some money get a gun that's got a lot of the same features but it's less price in fact it's even got a feature that I'll tell you that I think is good for somebody starting into this uh, this is it right here it's the Henry Frontier and why do I say it's got a feature that is better? The Golden Boy, you have to tap and drill the top if you want to put any sort of other sight on it. Such as if you want to put a Skinner sight, well, you have to remove the uh, receiver cover and send that out to Henry and have him do everything, or have him send it to you and they take it to a gunsmith. So, you know, you got a lot of messing around with that. But, you can actually get a Skinner sight Skinner peep sight and put it on this because it has a regular rimfire rail, 3 8 inch rail. Another thing that you can do with this is put a rimfire scope on it or adapters and put a regular scope on it. You can also put a red dot of different types, reflex sight, whatever, and it's got the red dot of course too where you have several of the practicals on there that you can adjust. Uh, but in this case I've got the rimfire and I'll show you up a little closer here. That's the rimfire mount peep sight, the Skinner peep sight. So I'm ta talking about that, yes, that you can get. It's going to cost you a little bit of extra money. Now, I said that it's got the same features otherwise in the Golden Boy, the sights it has. Uh, I've got the sight removed off of here now. But what that is, is it's the regular white diamond sight, just like you'd have on a Golden Boy. And the front sight, I don't know if you can see that or not, is the brass bead. Now the brass bead, I really like that. Uh, and it works good too with this Skinner Rimfire mount uh, sight. And I know that Jake's going to ask, what about a grouping? That's why I'm sitting here at a bench. As you know, I have rarely shoot at a bench because to me, if a gun's going to be accurate, it's got to be accurate off the bench. Uh, because when you're out in the field and shooting, if you're shooting cowboy style shooting, you're not going to be sitting at a bench. You're going to be shooting different ways otherwise. And uh, and I always like, especially planking, I would rather plank and shoot it the AR-500 steel, rather do it standing like this, freestanding and shooting. But we're going to put it on our Allen pads here because I don't have the other type and we got the bench the Caldwell bench and we got the target set up down there in fact we're using the same target that we used for the BBs in the Umarex here and again on this Umarex it shoots both BBs and pellets I say go with the pellets because it is a rifled barrel and if it's a rifled barrel I'd much rather be shooting pellets now we'll get off of that because that is a controversy some people say yes some people say no it's you know whatever but uh, we're going to shoot this and see what sort of a grouping we get. And by the way, we're using Super Colibri. Yeah, we're going quiet. And uh, we're so, you know, it's going to be a little bit different accuracy than if I used a full CCI or federal type ammo, uh, even the standard, because this does have a lot less velocity. This is actually more like the air gun, but it's also a good one for somebody that's just starting out and wanting to try this. And, you know, some people say, no, it's dirty. Yes, it's something about dirty, but anymore, even your other ammo is dirty, I guarantee you. So let's turn this around. I'm going to put you on this target, and then we're going to see what this thing actually does as far as a grouping shooting from the bench with the Skinner peep sight. 
as I said, we're going to be shooting at the top target. And I get my all my protection on here, get my glasses, and see what I can see down this side. See it. Now, the difference is with the lever action, of course, when you're on a bench and you got these things like this, uh, you've got to make sure. Well, you got to take it off every time, so because you have to pull the lever action, at least the way I've got it set up. So let's give this a try. I got to fire five rounds by the way too. I don't know if that's five yet or not. I think that was five. We'll find out. Yep, it was five. Okay, now we're going to take a look at it. You've already seen it. Well, not the greatest of shooting. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Uh, probably was me because of the way that I was using it. Um, it I didn't really have it down stable like you'd have on a regular bench rest. I gave that one away, in fact. I had one. And uh, I had a gentleman that used it more than I did. Like I said, I just don't shoot from benches. That's all there is to it. I'm better off taking this thing, putting it up on a down tree and shooting that way. I'll probably hit the thing better. I'll be standing up and shooting that way. And You know, people shoot different ways. That's all there is to it. And that's the way I shoot. I even adjust scopes standing up and can usually hit it pretty good afterwards. Uh, so anyway, on this one, as you can see, I'm shooting this way and we have a Grouping right here, five rounds. Two of them are right just about identical. That's probably the two that I was aiming about identical too, because I, I was changing my line of sight a little bit on it. But uh, still, they all hit right within that area there on a grouping. And so, you know, leave it up to you on that, but that, that isn't what I was really doing this for. Uh, and we did it for the young man that was talking about it. And like I said, you know, if you are saving your money, to get that 22 and any of you out there that want to start out and just get started you can also go with the classic but why didn't I pick the classic and that's even a little cheaper there's also the youth model um, well I'll tell you why because I like that white diamond sight with that brass up in the front you don't get that with the uh, classic uh, so I, I just like that type of a sight. And perhaps you won't, but you know, another thing is, as many some people that don't like that white diamond for some reason, you can actually reverse that thing and have it just all black. So, you know, don't worry about that. It'll go either way. And this was actually my first Henry, was this Frontier. It's got the octagon barrel. It's, um, it's a very good, smooth shooting gun. Uh, it's accurate really if I was plinking if I was shooting at the center of steel that would have hit every one of those and I fired this thing on my long range and it's done well it's it's just a very good gun that's all I can say and it's uh, cheaper than the golden boy and later on get the golden boy what I have just like I did I build up I, I've got even the one of one tributes two of those that's out of high caliber gifts uh, the um, one in a million one that they have that they only did a thousand of them uh, that was the one millionth tribute I should say I've got that but that was later down the line you know don't be saving your money up for that because that's going to take you a long time um, just go with something simple like this that way if you don't like it you're not out a lot of money and I'll guarantee you you're going to be able to resell this thing real easy because people are going to want it and um, it's just a good investment that way. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of blinking.